Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how I turned this raw green screen footage into a 3D environment using DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. This shot is from a few years ago, but I think it's still relevant to show you guys the process of creating a shot like this. When you type in key, you see all the different key effects. But for green screen keying, the best one as of now is Delta Keyer. And the first thing I like to do is getting rid of all the portions of the footage. Select your Delta Keyer and then go to your Polygon tool. And with our Polygon selected, we can make a garbage mask. Select your color you want to key out and then we key out our green screen. We can go to the channels and alpha. And now we see all the imperfections and we need to clean this up. Go to your matte options here and then in the threshold you can clip the white and black values. Now to get rid of all those shadows here on the green screen, there's a really great option here on the matte and it's called clean background. Move the slider up and then just like magic, it will remove all those areas in the background. Double check your alpha. You see all the shadows remain in our footage and that's something we actually want. In Fusion, there is a noise reduction node. Leave all the settings as it is and in the temporal threshold, move it up a little bit and then also in the spatial threshold and then play around with the blend value, just a tiny bit of blend. And that's already much cleaner than we had before. And if the key is still not good enough, you can also play around with the background color and change the value. To export the key, go to your matte control and search for a node called Saver. Then save it as an EXR. To export it, go to Fusion and render all savers. I initially tracked this footage in Cinema 4D, but you can also do it in Fusion, so you don't have to use FBX files. Then you can just use the Merge 3D and your camera. An important tip, if you tracked the footage in uh, Fusion itself, you can also export it as an FBX file and then use it in Cinema 4D and create your geometry and your whole scene in here. We still have some work to do because this doesn't blend perfectly with our background. First thing I'm gonna add is a color correct note. A good trick I use to match my background plate is going to the red channel and look at the dark areas and try to replicate them as good as possible. For example, here the dark areas, it's way too dark in comparison with the dark areas in our 3D render. So go ahead and go to your color correct note and change the gamma tiny bit and also the lift and try to match this as close as possible and then go back to our color and let's see the results it's already blending much more with our footage let's change our saturation a tiny bit in the background we have some really bright areas and oftentimes when we have a subject in the in front of it you will have a light wrap effect from the bright areas of the lighting. So to create this light wrap, I will go and add a matte control node and take the output of our key and place it in the orange input. And then we're gonna also need a blur. And now with this node structure here, we can extract our uh, key again. And then with the blur, we expand the edges. So we have a wrap effect. To do this, go to your matte control, combine the alpha, and in the combine operation, tell it to subtract the key. And now this matte control we can use as an alpha. So we need to make sure our background blends in on the edge here. And then take the output of our render passes and blur this image out. So let's add a merge to plug everything in. And then plug the output of our blur in our green input and take the matte control as an alpha for the merge. And what we've done now is use this as an alpha for the merge to merge over our background. But what if we only want it on the highlighted areas? I have a neat little trick for this and I would use a bitmap. And then in the channel we can use the luminance values. So this way we can clip the values and only 
show our highlighted areas. And to add this to our matte control, make another merge and add it over here. And then in the merge, I will use the operation to mask. So we mask out instead of adding it. Then plug the output of our bitmap in the green input. And then it's gonna use the bitmap as a mask. And right now we don't see anything, that's because we need to change our bitmap. So let's change the luminance to the other way. And right now it's doing exactly what we wanted to do. It's now only showing on our highlighted areas.